functions that typically model real-world phenomena typically have their domains explicitly described. A lot of times as we're learning about how to deal with various functions, we're going to find equations where their domains are not specifically specified. And so it behooves us to understand what are the values that allow the function to exist. For example, uh, if we have some function f of f of x equals 1 over x minus 3, we need to figure out, well, what values are part of our domain? We understand that this one is basically a division problem, and dividing by zero is something that we need to avoid when we're working with some of our various rational expressions. So we need to exclude all the values that make the function crash, or where the function does not exist at. So again, an example on this one, we understand that every value in the real numbers works except for three. So we could have a domain that equals uh, the union of or that's a negative infinity, uh, infinity there. So all the values between negative infinity and three and three and positive infinity. And notice I don't have a hard bracket around the three because three itself is not part of the domain. Likewise, we could have a function, another function that looks like square root function of x minus three. Well, we understand that on an even root, we cannot have values that make that root negative. So for what values is this particular function not defined? What's its domain? Well, the domain in this one works for all values greater than three. So all x such that x is greater than or equal to three. If I have a value less than three, this value becomes negative. If I have a value greater than or equal to three, the value, or when I work it through, is zero or positive, and that's where I can take a square root of. Now, as we become comfortable with some of those basic functions, we're gonna know where those holes are at, so we know how to deal with a particular domain of a function if it's not defined. It's our job to know what that is before we enter into the problem.